A vegetative patient, who had been in a coma for four years, was suddenly found to be pregnant. The male caregiver, who took care of her 24 hours a day, became the biggest suspect. But the nurses in the hospital didn't believe that the male caregiver committed the crime. Because Benigno is a warm and kind person. And for four years, he has been taking care of Alicia every day. The most important thing is that Benigno is actually gay. Alicia's father agreed to let Benigno take care of Alicia because of this trait. Benigno did take good care of Alicia. Even Alicia's father, who was suspicious of them from the beginning, gradually gave up his worry. But recently, the nurse found that Alicia had not had her period for three months in a row. After examination, the doctor found that the comatose Alicia was already three months pregnant. So is the culprit who caused her pregnancy really the good Benigno? As the investigation unfolds, a shocking truth emerges. It turns out that for years ago, Benigno was standing in front of his window and overheard Alicia practicing her dance. Benigno was deeply attracted by her beautiful appearance. From that day onwards, Benigno would spend an hour every day standing in front of the window watching Alicia dance. One day, Alicia was ready to go home after practice, but she accidentally dropped his wallet on the floor. Benigno saw this scene and thought there was an opportunity. He picked up the wallet from the floor. Then he went up to Alicia and talked to her. But after Benigno returned the wallet to Alicia, he didn't leave immediately. Instead, he followed Alicia and took her home. When Alicia arrived home, Benigno quietly walked up to her and memorized her home address. He also found out that Alicia's father was a psychiatrist. The office was at home. However, on this day, Benigno found out that Alicia didn't come to dance lessons. Benigno became agitated when he didn't see her all day, so he decides to pretend to be a patient and say that he is gay. He then approached Alicia's father for counseling. However, Benigno didn't leave the place after the therapy. He saw that Alicia's house was empty, so he went straight into her room. After the visit, he took her hairpan, but when he came out, he ran into Alicia, who had just finished her shower. Alicia was terrified. Benigno rushed to explain that he was just visiting her. Alicia saw that he had helped her before and didn't mean any harm, so she didn't think much about what he was up to. Benigno saw that Alicia was in good condition and turned around to leave. But what he didn't expect was, a few days later there was an accident. A vegetative girl in a coma for four years was suddenly found to be pregnant. The male caregiver who took care of her became the biggest suspect. After investigation, it was discovered that Benigno had fallen in love with Alicia, a vegetative girl. Four years ago, one rainy day four years ago, Benigno was looking out the window as usual. He found that Alicia had not come to dance class for a week. Then he felt bad. Benigno came to her home again, under the guise of mental illness. He found out that Alicia had been in a car accident. Now she was in a coma in the hospital and became a vegetable. And Benigno became her caregiver because he had been taking care of his mother for the past 10 years. So Benigno has more experience in caring for patients. And because Alicia's father thought he was gay, he wasn't worried about him having ulterior motives. He used both to his advantage and became Alicia's personal caregiver. For the next four years, Benigno took good care of Alicia. He washed her hair and bathed her every day. He cut her hair as it grew. He gave her massages, manicures, and stories. Even her menstrual blood was cleaned up by Benigno himself. Besides taking care of her physically, Benigno also took care of Alicia mentally. He often takes Alicia to the balcony to Sunday and breathe fresh air. He was always by her side. He patiently tells her interesting stories. Benigno hoped to wake Alicia up. On this day, Benigno was nursing Alicia in the hospital room. A man suddenly stopped at the door and peeked at him. Benigno then called him into the ward. After a brief conversation, he learned that Marco's girlfriend was also a vegetable. Marco's girlfriend is a bullfighter who had an accident in the ring not long ago. So she was lying in a coma in the hospital. But Marco didn't dare to face this fact. He only watches her from afar every day but doesn't come near her. He watched Benigno take care of Alicia every day. Benigno even spoke to her from time to time and was shocked. Benigno told Marco he believed Alicia could hear what he said, although there was no medical proof that she could really hear him. But more than science, he believed in miracles. Under Benigno's influence, Marco also gradually accepted his girlfriend, who became a vegetable. They often took the two women together on the balcony to sunbathe in the breeze. However, because of Benigno and Marco's frequent contact with each other, the hospital nurses thought that this seemed to be the evidence of Benigno's homosexuality. A vegetative girl in a coma is pregnant in the hospital, and no one knows who the criminal is. They suspect that the male caregiver was responsible for her pregnancy. As the investigation progresses, a shocking truth is revealed. For on that night, Benigno 
The caregiver told Marco that he had been in love with Alicia for four years and was planning to marry her. Marco found it unbelievable. He even thought that Benigno was crazy because Alicia was in a coma and a vegetable. She couldn't have said, I do. But Benigno didn't think so. He truly loves Alicia. He felt that the time he spent with her every day was sweeter than many married couples. Marco was speechless and had warned Benigno not to mess around. However, the next day, Benigno changed Alicia's clothes as usual, but his mind kept on thinking dirty thoughts. Because a few days ago, he went to the cinema to see a romantic movie. He was still thinking about the romantic scenes, although he reminded himself not to think about it. But he couldn't control his desire. When Alicia didn't have her period for the first month, Benigno explained to the nurse that this is what happens to the body of a vegetable. They don't get their periods at the same time every month. When Alicia didn't get her period the second month, one of the nurses took a leave of absence, so Benigno became her substitute, so no one knew Alicia's health condition. Until the third month, the nurse noticed that Alicia hadn't gotten her period, and immediately reported it for examination. As a result, Alicia was found to be pregnant. During the hospital's investigation meeting, Benigno's falsification of Alicia's period time was discovered. One of his colleagues overheard that he was going to marry Alicia, a vegetable. Benigno had to tell the truth about everything. A few months later, Benigno was sent to jail. When Marco went to see him in prison, he didn't seem to have any regrets. All he wanted to know now was Alicia's condition, but no one in the prison told him how Alicia was doing. So Benigno asked Marco to find out about Alicia for him. Marco came to Benigno's house and found his house full of Alicia's pictures. Marco slowly opened the curtain and looked at the dance class across the street. Suddenly, he found Alicia sitting on a chair in the classroom. Marco was stunned by what he saw. Finally, he asked Alicia's lawyer and found out that she had woken up during childbirth, but her baby was born without breathing. But no one had told Benigno about it because now Benigno was having mental problems. A few days later, Marco received a voice message. He listened to the message and found out that it was a farewell message from Benigno. Benigno said he was going to be with Alicia, who was in a deep sleep. Marco rushes to the prison. But it's too late. Benigno had already ended his life. The only thing he has left is the hairpin he took from Alicia's house. No matter how much Benigno likes Alicia, but he can't hide the fact that he committed a crime. Besides, Alicia only met him twice, and she never liked Benigno. Alicia was in a coma after the car accident. It was all a one-sided love of Benigno and his crazy, passionate love. He took good care of Alicia for four years. In the end, he lost a desire. If he had been able to control his impulses and desires, maybe after Alicia woke up, they could be together as a couple. That's it for today's video. You can subscribe and leave comments if you have any ideas. See you next time.